Well, welcome to Little Green Workshops how-to videos. Today we're going to be talking about care with lye and water. As you can see there, I'm pouring out the lye. I have rubber gloves on and there is no water in sight at this present stage. Lye is extremely caustic, hence the name caustic soda. So all I do is measure out into a small Pyrex jug and to the right weight and then once that's finished I set it aside out of the way of the water so it's at the right weight now and you can see it's right at the back now I'm pouring the water into a stainless steel bowl and I'm measuring that out carefully I'm using pure water this is water not from the tap it can be either rain water or you can buy pure water not mineral water but uh, pure water from the supermarket uh, or you can simply boil some water overnight make sure if your water's hard that it's actually filtered uh, it's probably the best way to do it you don't want hard water uh, it doesn't uh, make the soap lather very well so to combine the two you always add the lye to the water and not the other way around because if you do it the other way around you get a lye volcano so simply pour the caustic soda or lye into the water and I've got the extractor fan on here you can't hear it but the extractor fan is certainly is on I've got that over my range hood and now I'm going to stir that with a stainless steel spoon standing well back don't stir too vigorously you don't want this stuff splashing on you so you just stir it until all the granules you can feel all the granules of the caustic soda is dissolved Just give a gentle tap on the side. Now I pop that spoon straight into the sink of uh, soapy water. Now I've sped this up. This usually takes about two or three minutes to clear up. So you're waiting until the lye is clear, basically, until you can use it. See, it goes a little bit cloudy. There are actually some fumes coming off at the moment, which is vaporized lye. You don't want to breathe that in. So stand well back. Do it in a ventilated room, or as I have here, put it over a a range hood now to tip the lye water into the oil make sure that they're both at the right temperature and you pour it as low as you can and as gently as you can there we go i poured it in nice and easy remembering that the oils are less dense than the lye mixture so they sit on the top and they kind of protect you at this stage so i'm going to give that a stir so i'm mixing those two ingredients together nice and gently just a figure of eight in the pot so there's no splashing now if you do happen to get lye water on your skin wash it off with cold water straight away under a running tap and that will help stop you from getting a caustic burn or the severity of the burn another fantastic way i have a spray bottle full of vinegar and if i get a little bit of a, if i splash a little bit on myself um, i then just spray it with vinegar so make sure you're wearing safety gear, safety glasses, rubber gloves, long sleeves and long trousers. This way you'll stop any lye from splashing directly on your skin. So by following these simple tips, you will be able to make soap safely at home. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.